Hey everybody, this is a continuation of a, uh, a blog series that I have that is called Massively Forgotten Features. It's all about uh, features that were introduced in uh, MMOs past and present that uh, I think once they were introduced into the genre that uh, pretty much every MMO after that point really should have it. A, a, a good example of that is uh, the mailbox. Um, early MMOs didn't have it. Well, not not universally, but maybe one or two. But once we got into, uh, you know, like uh, Anarchy Online or World of Warcraft, everyone mentions World of Warcraft, you had to have the mailbox to get uh, to get things from character A to character B. It allowed two people to trade without actually being online at the same time. And that was absolutely huge. So here I am in uh, Runes of Magic, and uh, it's a free-for-play MMO, and uh, I'm not picking on it so don't get that impression. It's just that the example that I want to make is pretty easy to show in uh, in this game. And uh, what that example is, is, uh, you know, each of these characters, I've got a couple different ones here, so I'm bouncing back and forth. A lot of these are my stock characters, stock names. And uh, the point that I want to make here is about the difference between male and female characters, especially with the way that they dress. Uh, here we've got the warrior, the male warrior, you know, kind of looks buff. He's got the He-Man thing going on here. You can actually get the He-Man hair going if you really want to. But, uh, yeah, I mean, pff, nothing to be embarrassed about. Now you go over to the female character, you got some belly going on, but, you know, still pretty standard fare. However, if we go down to the rogue here, male rogue looks decent, you know. Uh, actually, pff, this looks like something you might see in Star Wars. I mean, it looks like a you know, a, a very rakish and, and uh, you know, nice costume. You switch over to the female costume, and uh, you've got a stripper. Now, you know, with her butt hanging out and everything, now, I'm a red-blooded American guy. I am not offended by a girl's butt, you know, an attractive girl's butt. Even if it's pixelated, that's fine by me. The point here, though, is that in this... Uh, in this uh, starting armor, there is no choice in the matter. Um, and I think that people who might not want to play a female character running around in, in you know, a leather thong, and, you know, it's not, not all the female characters like that way. You know, the mage, once it flips over, there we go. The mage has got the robe going, and we come down here to the priest. You know, another robe, but we get to the knight, and there it is again. In uh, Ashland's Call, uh, it's an MMO, one of, the, one of the first generations, what I consider the first generations of MMO, there was uh, two slots on the paper doll. Let me get into one of my characters here and show you what, I, what I'm talking about. Uh, let's go and consume me just, just for the heck of it. There we go, no more loading screen. Okay, here I've got my rogue Kitsumi. And uh, what I'm talking about is here in the inventory, whoops, not the inventory, the character screen. There's, this is the paper doll. Uh, in Ashwin's Call, you know, you had most of these slots. Uh, most MMOs have this, you know, the cloak, the boots, the belt, the pants, whatever. Um, but Ashwin's Call had two more slots, and that was the, uh, the shirt, uh, which WoW has, and also pants which WAP does not have. Uh, these were two slots where you could wear purely cosmetic shirt and pants. They, they had absolutely no value whatsoever in terms, of, uh, in terms of stats. They were just purely cosmetic. And what that allowed is uh, in cases of armor where... Here, let me uh, pull this up right here. In cases of armor where on the female characters or the male characters it could go both ways, okay? On uh, the female or the male characters, where you've got something like this here, let's pull this up, and this, you know, where you've got, you know, it's it's a nice looking set of armor, but maybe you don't want your female character, you know, to, to, to have the exposed areas here. You could put on this, these, this clothing underneath, dye it some dark color, and it looks like it's a part of the armor. It, it, it provides some modesty for the characters. Uh, this is, you know, purely at the discretion of the consumer. Um, and that's the real point here, is the ability for the consumer to decide how much or little of their character, you know, that they want to show in-game. 
um, not detracting from from how nice this armor looks just you know some people might not want to show this on the flip side there are some games like uh, the most recent WoW expansion also uh, Lord of the Rings Online where people who want to have sexy characters who are showing off a bit more skin like I said male or female I'm not judging I'm not saying one or the other but you know people who want to show off more skin on their tunes they're not able to do so because the the developers have put this uh, modesty into the game and there's there's no way around it so I think uh, you know something that would be good is to have those two slots there have it towards purely cosmetic that it, it allows modesty for the tunes uh, you know at the discretion of the consumer and you know have armor sets that do show off you know like like these armor sets and it's not just that one set here I mean if I come down to another set uh, like the Nighthawk set here we go crimson crimson legs and and you know see I mean she's got the the shoulders exposed and everything so it, it allows freedom both for their their artistic people who are designing these sets of armor also allows freedom for the uh, the consumer to decide what their character looks like and I really think that that is something that's forgotten in modern a lot of modern MMOs that focus on maybe five or six really neat looks and then uh, don't provide much choice after that so uh, that's my massively forgotten feature I will put a link into the rest of the series over on the sidebar uh, if you're interested in taking a look at that and uh, let me know what you think and remember always rate. Thanks. Bye.